Today we're on lesson two of unit 12, probability and Venn diagrams. It'd be helpful if you had a calculator and a pencil. We have quite a few pages to cover, starting on page 398. We'll be look, first looking at shading Venn diagrams. Our first exercise, at a high school, some students play soccer and some do not. Also, some students play basketball and some do not. This scenario can be represented by what we call a Venn diagram, as shown below. So the, the circle with the S is for students who play soccer, and the circle with the B is for students who play basketball. And the rectangle represents all students at the school. On the Venn diagrams provided, shade the region representing the students who play soccer. That would be represented by circle S. Shade in circle S. B, do not play soccer. That would be everything outside of circle S, but still within the rectangle. This is what you would like to use a pencil for. It's easier to shade with a pencil than with a pen. C, play soccer and basketball. Soccer and basketball. Well, that's the overlap here, this portion. This is and, which I also refer to as the overlap section. Play soccer or basketball. That would be circle S and circle B, both shaded. Right or, please. Play soccer or basketball, but not both. Okay, so the overlap is where they play both. So soccer or basketball, but not both, would be this piece of soccer and this piece of basketball. So shaded here are the students who play soccer or basketball, but not both, soccer and basketball. Okay, next page, let's try this again. Something similar. Exercise two, an online bookstore offers a large selection of books. Some of the books are works of fiction and some are not. Also, some of the books are available as eBooks and some are not. Let F be the set of books that are works of fiction and E be the set of books that are available as eBooks. On the Venn diagrams provided, shade the regions representing books that are A, available as eBooks. It would be all of circle E. Not works of fiction. Well, circle F are works of fiction. We want everything outside of circle F. This is not works of fiction. C works of fiction and available as ebooks. And is the overlap. And very important to remember that. D works of fiction or available as ebooks, or is the two combined? It's important to remember. The difference between or and and.
E, neither works of fiction nor available as e-books. Neither one. Everything outside the two circles. F works of fiction that are not available as ebooks. So fiction that are not available as ebooks. So this piece is fiction, but are also available as ebooks. We want only this portion of circle F. Next, page 400. Now showing numbers of possible outcomes or probabilities in a Venn diagram. Think again about the school introduced in exercise number one, where we had our shading of students who played soccer and those who played basketball. So some of the students play soccer and some do not. Also, some students play basketball and some do not. Suppose that 230 students play soccer and 190 students play basketball. Sixty students play both sports. There are a total of 500 students at the school. Complete the Venn diagram and the two-way table below by writing the numbers of students in various regions of the diagram and table. So here first we have our Venn diagram. There are 230 students that play soccer. So all of circle S would have 230 students. Now, to represent the whole, instead of putting it inside, because remember, circle S is sort of split into this piece, this portion, and then the overlap portion with circle B. So we draw this, what I call a lollipop stick down, indicating that all of circle S has a total of 230 students. 190 students play basketball. So for all of circle B, 190. 60 students play both sports. That is this portion. Now for the two-way table, Two hundred thirty. So the S is for soccer. So Two hundred thirty students play soccer. One hundred ninety play basketball. So we go across row B, and sixty play both basketball and soccer. These are called cells. Would be this cell. Looking at the table, it's quite easy to fill in the rest of these cells. Oh, one thing I forgot was there's a total of 500 students. And 500 in the Venn diagram would go just inside the um, rectangle, but outside the two circles. How many students play basketball but not soccer? Okay, I'm going to stay with the two-way table here and 60 plus 130 would bring us to the 190 total in this row. 230 plus what would bring us to the 500 total here. Two seventy. Column wise, 60 plus what is 230? 170. 130 plus what would give us 270? 140. And just as a check, 190 plus what would give us 500? 
310. And is 170 plus 140 310? Yes, it is. How many students play basketball but not soccer? So basketball but not soccer would be this cell. Basketball, not soccer, 130. Now, how do we get this from the Venn diagram? If I have 230 all in circle S, and 60 of those 230 play basketball as well as soccer, then this portion here would have to be 230 minus 60. 170. Likewise with circle B, if 190 is the total, 60 minus or subtracted from 190 is 130. How many students play basketball but not soccer is the 130. Suppose that a student will be selected at random from the school. What is the probability that this, the selected student plays both sports? Okay, both sports is the soccer and basketball, which is 60, over the total number of students. 60 over 500. Same thing here. Basketball and soccer would be 60 over the total. Complete the Venn diagram below by writing probabilities associated with the various regions of the diagram. So here we want probabilities. Um, unfortunately, I have to see what is above. Swim out of here. Get a little more on the video. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. All right, so probability is going to be uh, 170 over 500 inside, 170 over 500, uh, 60 over 500, 130 over 500. And the probability that they play soccer would be 230 over 5, these are 500s, sorry, 230 over 500, and basketball 190 over 500. I'll leave them as fractions. Okay, now we're going back to the online bookstore, which had the works of fiction and works of ebooks. Suppose 62% of the books are works of fiction, 47% are works are available as ebooks. And 14% are available as ebooks, but not works of fiction. Use a Venn diagram or a two-way table to find the probability that the book will be. And then we have questions um, I and double I. So first, filling out the two-way table, 62% of the books are ebooks. Well, first, we need headers here. I'll say, and 62% of the, of the books were works of fiction. So we have fiction and not fiction, and ebooks and not ebooks. 62% works of fiction. I write it as a decimal point six two. is in the wrong place. 0.62 is here. 
47% are available as ebooks. Ebooks, that is 0.47. 14% are available as ebooks but not works of fiction. Ebooks but not fiction would belong in this cell, 0.14. And now we can easily, and the total would have to be 100% or 1.00. So we can easily fill in the 2 8 table now. So what plus 0.14, working the column, would result in 0 0.47, 0 0.33. Go across the row, 0 0.33 plus what gives us 0 0.62. Point 0.29. 0.62 plus what is 1.00? 0 0.38. 0 across the column here, across the row, 0 0.47 plus what is 1.00? 0 0.53. 0 and to check this, 0.14 plus what is 0 0.38? 0 0.24 and is 0 0.29 plus 0 0.24, 0 0.53? Yes, it is. Find the probability that the book will be a work of fiction and available as an ebook. So fiction and ebook is 0 0.33 over the 1.00, which is simply 0.33. Neither a work of fiction nor available as an ebook. So, not fiction nor ebook is right here in this cell, 0.24. Now, for the Venn diagram, sixty-two percent fiction. So, all of this is fiction, 0.62. 47% ebooks, 0.47, and 14% are available as ebooks but not works of fiction. So ebooks but not would be 0.14 would be this portion. If I cover this up and I'm looking at just circle E, this piece is 0.14, the whole circle E is 0.47. So this leaves this piece to be 0.47 minus 0 0.14, 0 0.33. Now, if I cover up and look at just circle F, this little portion of circle F is 0.33 when the whole thing is 0.62. So that leaves this piece to be 0.29. Work of fiction and available as an ebook, that's the overlap, that's the and, 0.33. Neither a work of fiction nor available as an ebook. So that's everything outside here. Okay. How do we get what's outside? Well, what's the combination of the two here? This is the or. Let's just add this piece plus this piece plus this piece. 0.29 plus 0.33 plus 0.14 is 0.76. So everything outside the two circles would be 1 minus 0.76, which is 0.24. Exercise number five. Actually, let's see, I think we'll stop here with number five, right? We're 20 minutes into the video, and we'll pick up with number five in class the following day. Thank you very much for your attention.